My name is Steve Frankfurt. This should be fun. I had told the creative directors at the agency who were working with me at the time that I found this incredibly talented and very, very funny man. And uh, uh, I knew him as Mel Brooks. They had never heard of him. And I remembered he was invited to come. I invited him to come to the agency on a Thursday afternoon. And I had cleared the idea with George Gribben, who was president of the company at the time. And I remember Thursday at 2 o'clock, I got a phone call in my office saying, Steve, there's a Mr. Brooks here to see you, and he says he's supposed to be seeing some of the creative people at the agency. Can you come out and get him? And I said, well, no, he's expected. We, I've got about six of the creative directors together in Mr. Gribben's office. You can just send him back. She said, could you please come and get him? And I said, well, what? He's, where are you? Where are you? She said, well, I'm out of my desk, but uh, I think you better come out and get him. So I, I said, well, I'll come out and get him, but this is the silliest thing I ever heard, Barbara. For goodness sakes, all I'm asking him to do is come back. I want to introduce him to some of the creative people. So I went out to the uh, reception desk, and there was Barbara, and she said, Mr. Frankfurt, this is Mr. Brooks. I didn't know it. I, of course I knew Mr. Brooks. I had just been with him the, 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 the weekend, only the week before. came over, and here was Mel, and Mel was standing in the... Uh, uh, in the background at her desk and he he just simply said Steve Steve are you there and I and I looked and he had the dark glasses on and he had the white uh, the the, uh, uh, the white cane and he was going I said Mel what do you he said just you lead the way and I'll just follow you come on he had a white a, a white seeing eye cane and he had a dog, and I couldn't, I didn't know what to say. And she said, you see what I said? I told you, he can't get back there without you. So I said, Mel, follow, follow me. <laughs> Going down the lobby there on the 45th Street, 42nd Street side. And we get to the, to Gribben's office, and I open the door to bring him in and introduce him. And everybody sitting in the office, who were four creative directors and the president of the company, looking at me like I'm absolutely crazy out of my mind. What are you bringing a blind man here for? And you didn't tell us he was blind. I said, I didn't really, I, you know, he wasn't blind the last time I saw him, which was last Saturday. <laughs> come, in to, come in there, and Mel has a very serious conversation about what's going on in the world of advertising and the, weir, the world of beer, beer advertising and, and uh, uh, various parts of the, of the world, of Chrysler, of Eastern Airlines, etc. And they're, they're all sitting listening to this, but they're listening to a blind man with a seeing-eyed dog and a cane. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they keep telling me, this is the funniest man we'll ever meet. And with that, at, at maybe one, two minutes in, all of a sudden we heard, <laughs> like that. The dog jumped. Did, a, did a, a cartwheel, Mel got up on Mr. Gribben's desk, and he simply looked at all, all of us now, and he said, how do you like that for an entrance? Cut. <laughs>